So I'm going through and I'm rewiring the uh, running lights and some of the tail lights. The uh, previous job was done pretty badly. I thought there was a short on the on the uh, driver's side in the rear. There's no short. Uh, the running light was disconnected at the uh, butt joint. Somebody used a. Uh, someone did a pretty shabby job. They didn't crimp it right, and it just it disconnected, and it looked like there was a short. Um, I want to show you something. These uh, these stop brakes and uh, turn signal lights are thirty dollars for each of these sockets. But due to the uh, corrosion, um, the wire is disconnected. The wire has separated inside the module itself. And the way to fix that is to do a jumper cable. And you'll see a jumper right here. It's coming into the, uh, it's coming into the ground. And from the ground, it's jumping and it's drilled right into the uh, into the socket itself. That's a good way to save about $35. That thing is $35 brand new. Now um, I went got new sockets for the running lamps and uh, I'll show you some of the shrink wrap. You gotta put the shrink wrap because that's the only way to keep these uh, keep the integrity of uh, of these uh, butt joints. So um, I'm using a torch I got this torch for about six bucks, and then uh, for the for the running lamps, I had to fish it through using a using a coat hanger here, and I had to fish it through. You can see it from the uh, bottom of the bumper, but uh, all in all, the electronics is uh, the rear lights and everything working good now. All the bulbs were tested and everything was good. Now I just need to vacuum this down get this final uh, uh, coil protection on on the rear use some tie ends on that uh, on these hooks secure it down and I should be good I should be done all right 